Let me record. So here we can see two types of people, one who is engaging in the Lord's duty, Lord's service, and one who are not actually in, not in union with the divine, who are actually working for his own satisfaction, for all his senses. Actually in the purport, Prabhupada mentioning that who work for his senses, that is actually a being at the end. Okay, you cannot, uh, you cannot satisfy with the senses. One who actually working for the senses, own sense gratification will be entangled in the yarapu perapu sariratala matik kondiva. So we have to work in a proper consciousness. And that proper consciousness, Prabhupada mentioning that it's a God consciousness, a Krishna consciousness. And those two are, uh, wait a minute. Uh, okay. So, anyone would read? Ashwini Mataji, are you there? Ashok Kumar Prabhu, yes, you, you wanted to read Prabhu? Vidya Vinaya Sampane Brahmane Gavi Hashtini Suni Chaiva Swa Pakacha Pandita Sama Darsina. The humble sages, by virtue of true knowledge, see with equal vision a learned and gentle Brahmana, a cow, an elephant, a dog, and a dog eater of caste. Okay, thank you. So here, those who are work in devotional service, who are working in a proper consciousness, they will see everyone as an equal. Uh, the humble sages, by virtue of truth, knowledge, by the true knowledge, they see everyone as an equal vision. Even the Brahmana, he see a cow, an elephant, or a dog, even a dog eater. Why it is outcast? Because the people who are eat dog, they call as a chandal. And they actually a lower caste for the man-made designation called it a lower caste. Even them, they see equal. So these, Bhagavad Gita, again, Krishna proved that it's beyond the humanity, it's beyond the religion, it's beyond the um, caste system. Everything is beyond because those who are read Bhagavad Gita, those who are very learned because they have seen the truth. They know the truth. What is true? So that people, that humble sage, they will see everyone equal, even the elephant, even the dog, even the dog eater. Because in the God perception, everyone is equal. Everyone is equal. We are even welcoming the people who are eating dog. Because even in that human, even in that people, Krishna tells, I am living in him as a Paramatma. So we are actually seeing him. We are actually seeing God inside him. That doesn't mean that you are God, I am God, everyone is God. No, we are seeing God in him. So therefore, therefore, we are respecting. We are seeing everyone equal, even the dog we see, you no know, equal. So by that, we are actually the friend of all the living entities. So this is one of the reasons why we should practice vegetarianism. So we are friend for every living entity because Krishna tells, I am part, of, you are all in part and partial of my you are all part and partial of the super soul. You are part and partial of the God. Therefore, we all are God children. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are. You want to eat a dog or whatever. You are a Brahmana. But everyone is equal. Because you can see the Paramatma. You know, in everyone's heart, in the picture, in the elephant, in the dog, there is a Paramatma. So a learned person, see everyone equal. Uh, Shivani Mataji, would you like to read? Arina Sri Mataji, would you like to read? Yehi Sparsa Ja Boga Duka Yonaya Ivate Dai Antavanta Kaun. 
Ramate Buddha. An intelligent person does not take part in the sources of misery which are due to contact with the material senses. O son of Kunti, such pleasures have a beginning and an end, and so the wise man does not delight in them. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you for your consideration. So an intelligent person, a wise person, does not take part in the source of misery. He doesn't take part in the source of misery. What is the source of mystery? The source of misery is some, someone who is working for his own self-satisfaction. That's mean by own the self-satisfaction. Those two are people are working in that way, in that consciousness. Actually, they are miseries. They are source of miseries. Why it is miseries? And Krishna telling you that kind of pleasure, that kind of sense, that kind of uh, sense will cause one beginning and end. That is a beginning and also an end. But a wise man does not engage in that kind of material sense. He will never take part in the source of misery. So here, um, given an example, five example, what is actually um, how the senses, working for the whole senses, and that cause misery. Okay, for example, the taste of the tongue. The taste of the tongue is also a sense. So by not controlling the sense of the tongue, we can see the example of the fish. The fish is uh, by seeing the bait, you know, the bait, the fish go and catch the worm in the bait. So what happened? The fish get caught and be killed. So one who cannot control the sense of tongue will be something. The example is given like a fish. And another second is a sense of smelling. And this bee, this example given here is a bee. A bee, because of his sense of a, a sense of smell is very strong, is addicted to the sense of smell. The bee, by smelling senses, go to the lotus flower and pull out the honey. But because of that addiction, what happened? He forgot, the bee forgot that the lotus flower will close and the bee end up staying inside the lotus flower and end up with the death. And the second, uh, the third one is uh, in the hole, you can see it's elephant inside the hole. So because of the addiction of this sense, touch sense, the elephant is actually addicted to the touch sense. So the hunter catch the male elephant uh, by putting a female elephant, female elephant uh, beside the hole or in front of the hole and to make the male elephant come. So by the touching sense, the addicted to the touching sense, the male elephant come and fall down in the hole. And the fourth one is the deer. Deer is addicted to sound sense. So sound, by hearing the drum sound of the hunter uh, uh, is addicted to the uh, sound sense. And the deer will catch where did the sounds come from until the deer reach to the hunter. And that's the way the hunter catch the deer. And the fifth one is uh, uh, seeing sense, okay, eye sense, eye sense by addicted to this uh, light. We call that as an insect, I easel, easel. Someone learned that easel. English, in English, we call as, uh, uh, do anyone know the name? Flying terminate, if I'm not mistaken. Flying terminate. Flying terminate, right? Ah, termite, flying termite. Ah, the flying termite is actually addicted to this uh, light. Okay, when, yeah, when um, the fires burn, okay, the fire causes light. So what happened is flying termite will go uh, beside or near the, uh, the fire and burn itself. And if the flying termite, you know, it causes misery. I will die. But still, the flying termite will go to the fire. So this is how those who cannot control the senses will end up. It is cause of misery. But a wise person, a learned person, 
those who are learned Bhagavad Gita and apply that in their life, they are actually consider an intelligent person. And that intelligent person does not take part in this source of mercy. And therefore, Krishna is instructing Arjuna, Arjuna, you don't take part in the source of mercy. If Arjuna never fight the war, Arjuna, if never Arjuna, if Arjuna never fight the war, is 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 considered satisfy satisfy his own sense because by his own sense he want to he don't want to fight the war, but he fighting the war because of the pleasure for the Lord and that becoming as a devotional service. And the next, this is a universal piece of formula and the last verses of chapter five. And I can uh, request uh, us who have never uh, recite this sloka. I I scared that I would miss out any of this name. So if you feel that I have never called your name throughout the entire session, please please volunteer yourself and read this sloka, or else uh, I can. If no one, without delaying. Yes, Sangita Mataji. Bhoktaram Yachna Tapasam Sharva Loka Maheshwaram Shuddham Sharva Bhuttanam Nyatva Mam Shantim Chati. A person in full consciousness of me, knowing me to be the ultimate beneficiary of all sacrifices and austerities. The supreme lord of all planets and demigods and the benefactor and well-wisher of all living entities attains peace from the pangs of material miseries. Thank you so much for your contribution, Mataji. Bhaktaram Yaknatapasham Sharvaloka Maheshwaram Sudaram Sharva Bhutanam Janatvamam Santi Mrichati. A person in full conscious of me, knowing me to be the ultimate beneficiary of all the sacrifice and austerity. Krishna here declare, this is the first time Krishna declaring that Bhaktaram Yakna Sapasam, whatever austerity do you do uh, you do, whatever tapasya, tapasya means uh, uh, sacrifice, austerity. You do. Sharvaloka Maheshwaram. I am the Supreme Lord of all the planet, entire planet. I am the Supreme Lord. And everything is coming to me. And I am the source of everything. Whatever. And the source of universe. Whatever we are seeing. Whatever the nature, the time, everything, the planet, the universe. Krishna declaring here that I am actually the source. And I am actually the benefactor. So whatever the yajna you do, whatever in the palangalam yajna lerende, yagangal lerende varay, all the palangalam yenna dam bande share the achna. All the benefactor from the yagna, all the pious activities belongs to him. We are actually offering to him indirectly or directly, and he is actually well wisher for all the living entity. We might have, we might be a well wisher for a certain company, a certain people, a certain important people of life. But not everyone can we be well wisher to everyone? No. But Krishna is declaring here that I am even well wisher for all, all the living entity, even the worm in the stool. Krishna tell I, I am living as a paramatma. So therefore, actually, I am a living entity for every. I am the well wisher for all the living entity, even the dog, even the worm, even the worm in the stool. Krishna declaring that, and whatever you do. Whatever you do, I am the sole proprietorship. Nothing is belongs to us. So if we think in this way, everything is belongs to God. Your place, this, everything is actually coming from the God. The mercy of the God we are actually enjoying. So the enjoyer is not us. The enjoyer is the Lord. So if we think in this way, in this proper consciousness, this is called as a Krishna consciousness. By we thinking like this, there is no fight. We will always peace and formula. Like today's world, we see so much of war because of place, India and Pakistan, because of one little place they are fighting for. And there's a current for war is happening. But if everyone thinking this is all God's property, everyone will be peace, right? 
there will be no war but because of we are claiming everything this is mine this is yours you don't take this this is mine when the ego the false ego is coming i mine the problem is that not only in the world war not only in the world but in our relationship it doesn't matter husband and wife or siblings or parent when the i when the mind when the false ego is coming when we forgot the relationship with the god the problem is so now we all are the, the world is actually in a havoc hypocrisy cru, uh, cruel why quarrel why because we are forgetting the relationship with the god so therefore before ending the class there is a story so you all want a story i have received their feedback so please end up the uh, session with the story this is a story of nice story the story of brahmana and the wife this is actually a short story of krishna and balarama so actually krishna and balarama here we is kopas can you, you can see the first picture krishna with all his friend with uh, krishna's friend called as a gopas they all are very dear to krishna so what happened uh, actually uh, krishna and his friend is very hungry they are usually go and um, playing with the cow that's their past time krishna ram krishna is more famous in the maadu mekrana krishna ram vandu epodum kannana vandu epodum maadu mekravana dhan theriyum so that is actually what krishna do uh, playing with the cows there is a cowherd boy there is a cow boy so krishna and balarama is and all, with all this friend they are playing together then they feel so hungry they feel so hungry so avangalukku vandu pasi edukudhu so nalla pasi edutha kaiyoda and they giving a suggestion that you know there is a brahmana you can see another picture the which is the brahmana the pure sages were offering fire sacrifice they are doing the yagya the big big fire like we can see in uh, the opening ceremony in a new house we hindu usually you no know, practice in that way so that is called yagya yajana so they are uh, doing the yagya big big yagya so for the yagya we usually put uh, some fruits inside the yagya so in that way krishna and balarama so and one or brahmanan kootathil nam paathona and munigal la ukkandirukanga avanga vandu brahmanan so and brahmangala ipo vandu yagyam valapanga so and neruppa vechi inda gundathila vandu yagyam valakumode and yagyathila porradhukku vandu palangal vechirupanga so uh, so what the krishna ask with the go, uh, gopas uh, you go to the brahmana go to the brahmana and ask for some food but don't mention my name don't mention my name you mention balarama name because the, the krishna is the son of nanda maharaj and balarama is the son of vasudeva so in that case vasudeva is a king so therefore you mention his name so more valuable my name is no valuable ha huh? you don't mention my name but you mention balarama balarama is angry i am not angry or you mention in that way to brahmana and ask for some food so krishna ar vandu solraru avaroda kootali kitta avaroda nanbargalta nee vandu saapadu kele inda brahmana ngalta avanga palana vechirpaanga ana yen peru sollada yen perku madippu kadaiyadhu ana balarama solli ana avanoda raja avoda paya na shatriya naan or vaishyar or paya enakku mariyada kadaiyadhu nee balarama oda peru sollu balarama perunala unakku madippu irukum unakku palam tharuvanga eduthu so in that way the gopas go to the brahmana and asking for the food no uh, balarama and myself is hungry together with krishna please give some food and they refuse the brahmana refuse i don't give you food why should i give you because this is all for sacrifice for yajna for this fire sacrifice it is not offered yet to the lord why uh, it cannot be given to you and brahmana vandu taduthaanga no idu vandu na kudukka mudiyadhu idu vandu unga neruppula pole yagathala pole la இது வந்து பகவானுக்கு படைக்கல நான் உனக்கு கொடுக்க முடியாது அப்படின்னு சொல்லி பலராமையும் அவ கிருஷ்ணரோட நண்பர்களை அந்த கோபாச வந்து மாட்டிருக்கும் கிருஷ்ணர்ட்ட போய் வந்து கம்ப்ளைண்ட் பண்ணும் போது கிருஷ்ணா எங்க பழமே தர மாட்டேங்கிறாங்க எகியத்துல போடணுமா 
கிருஷ்ணர் வந்து சிரிச்சுக்கிட்டே சொல்றாரு தெரியும் தெரியும் அவங்க பிரதம் பண்ணுவாங்க So Krishna giving another suggestion that his wives of Brahmana uh, stay nearby. So go and ask the same way you ask to the wife. Okay. The Brahmana is the same way you are living. You are living in the same way. So what happened? The Gopas also go to the Brahmana's wife and ask, My Balarama and Krishna is hungry. Do you have some food to eat? and they are actually cooking at that time they are actually cooking for what they are cooking they are actually cooking for the brahmanas okay but they give everything oh krishna and balarama is hungry you take everything and go so avanga the poi vandha manivi kitta kekkumode krishna ram and balarama pasikide konja saapadu thaanga ante and actually vandha avanga vandha and egiyathukku vandha samachikittu irukanga and adu appadiye thooki krishna ram balarama kuma pasikide eduthirukom eduthirukom ko எல்லாத்தையும் எடுத்துருக்கோங்க எவ்ரி வைஃப்ஸ் டேக்கிங் ஒன் ஒன் ஐட்டம்ஸ் வாட் எவர் தே ப்ரிப்பேர் தே பிரிங் அலாங் அண்ட் கிவ் டு தோபாஸ் அண்ட் கோபாஸ் இஸ் என்ஜாயிங் என்ஜாயிங் ஸோ இன் தீஸ் வே இட்ஸ் வெரி சிக்னிஃபிகன்ட் டு தீஸ் டாபிக் தேட் வி ஹாவ் டு ரிமெம்பர் ஃபார் வாட் வி ஆர் டூவிங் வி ஆர் டூவிங் ஆல் தி செக்ரிஃபைட் ஆஃப் லார்ட் பட் இட் டூ மச் ரிச்சுவலிஸ்டிக் we forgot the relationship god like brahmana even the god himself and come and ask give me some food whatever you offering the sacrifice is actually belongs to me it is like come to me at the end of the day now i am asking you directly but they are forgetting but when asked to the wives they are so compassion and they, even though they don't know the philosophy they don't know what is real but out of love they give everything now you take you take you take everything krishna and balarama So this is a very nice verse of uh, Krishna, the story of little Krishna and Balarama. So this is a recap of chapter 5. So the first chapter to uh, chapter 5.1, uh, Shloka 5.1 to 5.6, we can see Krishna, Arjuna asking, renunciation of devotion to Krishna. in krishna telling both are good but devotion is better so working devotion is much more better so and krishna explaining how to perform ish karma so which means work without attachment like a example like a water on the lotus leaf and then offer everything to the pleasure of the lord pleasure of the krishna and the characteristic of the learned scholar or we can call this a karma yogi so one who see everyone as a every one as a equal a equal vision to all living entities and never attached to the sense gratification sense gratification means kulan inbandal so never attached to sense gratification we have seen the five examples and the peace formula platform of liberation so one who know that knowing krishna is the beneficiary and benefactor and as such a person attain peace from the pangs of material misery so those who knows that the supreme lord krishna is the cause of everything even in brahma samhita it has been explained that ishvara parama krishna sachit ananda vigraha anandiradir govinda sarva karana karana you are the causes of all the causes even brahma reside the first tanza in brahma shakta so according to that here a beautiful verse harir eva samarthanaya sarva desha sureshvara hare nama maha mandir nastayapa kishayakam all the grievous sins of one who worship lord sri hari or the lord of the lords and chant the holy name the maha mantra are removed so all the grievous sins by just chanting this hari krishna maha mantra is actually removed so we together can chant hari krishna maha mantra those who have uh, already time sir who want to leave yes can leave those who want to stay stay and chant together and we can chant together so here i wanted to explain what is actually hari krishna and hari rama means hari means the energy of the lord krishna means in sanskrit krishna's meaning is all attraction is all attraction he attracts everyone he attracts mother yashoda the mother devaki all the neighbors he attracts and he attract all the gopis is most beautiful the possessor of all the beauty of krishna is that that's why it's called as a 
all attraction and rama is the pleasure potency so rama means pleasure potency so in this way we are asking oh lord oh energy of lord oh all attraction oh all potency of pleasure please engage me in your devotion service that is actually this maha mantra means so in the, in this way we can actually chant uh, maybe yes uh, yesterday we have chant five times today we can chant for maybe we can increase the number to become eight times okay we can increase the number for eight times so we can start chanting this hari krishna maha mantra those who wanted to unmute themselves they can feel free to do that we'll chant hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 rama hari rama 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 hari 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 krishna hari krishna krishna hari 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 rama hari rama 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 so thank you thank you for engaging thank you for tolerating with me throughout this uh, entire session so here those who want to you know increase their rounds can use this japa mala by ordering this uh, gita key those who have not yet get this bhagavad gita please get it is very obvious friend and please fill up the quiz uh, and um, fill up the correct whatsapp i mean correct group number so you all can get a certificate at the end of the session so any question no prabhu no. okay no, thank prabhu. you forgive uh, for what had happened today i will make sure it will never repeat thank you so much I will wait thank here. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Thank you. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Thank you. Thank you Prabhu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.